The LightShot Screenshot tool is a must-have for taking screenshots on your PC. The app is quickly activated by pressing the Print Screen button and then drawing the selected area that you require. As opposed to other tools, you can change the selected area after letting go and can easily mark up your screenshot alongside the convenient quick actions that are available. Talking about convenience, the battery percentage icon is something you'll wonder how you lived without. It does exactly what it says and adds a small number in your taskbar that shows you your battery percentage at a glance instead of having to hover your mouse over the icon itself. You can also see further details of your battery such as its health and other customizations in the app settings. On the topic of saving time, the Atext app is a free text expander app that allows you to insert predetermined words and phrases by typing a quick abbreviation. If there is a certain phrase or sentence you commonly use, then this app will really help you out, as you can see here by my example. That brings us to the next app, which is the Ear Trumpet application. You'll notice the speaker icon in the taskbar, but this is not just the normal speaker icon. Clicking it will instead allow for quick adjustments to your various sound sources and media players you have open, all thanks to Ear Trumpet. I think it's quite useful for managing various different audio sources on the fly. What's also quite handy is the Ninite application. It's a program installer manager which is really useful when setting up a new computer as it will install common applications in one go instead of having to download them all from various websites and click through the multiple options. I think this can really help to save a bit of time. Another quality of life application is the Twinkle Tray application. If you're someone who uses an external monitor and if changing the brightness on it can be a bit of a hassle, then this app can help. It adds a brightness icon in the system tray where you can easily manage and change the brightness of any connected external displays super easily. It also has further settings which you can play around with and integrates into Windows quite well. Talking of Windows, an essential app is the Power Toys app designed by Microsoft. Now the Power Toys application provides quite a few different tools and features as part of a package that helps to enhance Windows, but one useful one is the always on top feature. This feature allows you to pin a window to stay in the foreground on the top by pressing Ctrl and T. It's quite useful when working with a reference document that you want to keep on the top while working on others. Next up is the Quick Look app. If you've ever used a Mac, you'll know exactly what this is. This app allows you to quickly preview all types of files without having to actually open them by simply pressing the spacebar with the file selected. You only need to press space once rather than some other keyboard shortcut. This is particularly useful for those apps that take a while to load when all you need to do is see some quick changes you might have made. What's even better though is the OBS screen recorder tool. It's a free screen recorder tool which requires no payments or applies any sort of watermarks to your recordings. While there is the Xbox Game Bar recorder built into Windows, this app provides you with more control and more settings to customize your recordings to make sure it's just right. And finally, we have the Pomodoro app. It's a simple and easy to use free Pomodoro timer app to help you keep focused on your tasks throughout the day using the Pomodoro technique. You can also set multiple timers with this app and play around with some of the settings and customizations that it offers to tailor it to your needs. So those are 10 super useful Windows apps all covered. If you found the video valuable, please share the video. And if you really enjoyed, consider subscribing so I can make more condensed content just like this. Anyway, thanks again for watching.